mountains, and they're about the size of Mount Everest or so. If we look a little bit over here, though, we come over a little bit. Here we have the largest volcano in the solar system. So right here in front of us is Olympus Mons. And Olympus Mons, well, that's about two times the height of Mount Everest. So two Mount Everests on top of each other. That's how big Olympus Mons is. And as for the size of it, well, the, the comparison I know is it's actually about the size of Minnesota, the state that I'm in. So I'm in the state of Minnesota, and that's about how big this volcano is. So that's about, um, that's about 350 miles across. Um, so that's going to be about 600-ish uh, kilometers. Um, so if you know something that's about 600 kilometers in size or 350 miles in size, that's how big this volcano is. And it is, it's, I mean, it's big. The things right at the very center, we can actually see that there are craters on this volcano. So these little areas, ooh, I'm trying to fly over the surface. Like this little area right here, that's a crater. So that's actually where something, a piece of rock smashed into the surface of Olympus Mons and caused a giant hole. All right. Um, We'll try to get a little, let's, let's actually move a little further away from Mars here because we know a lot about Mars because we've actually sent about 25 different spacecraft to Mars and about 12 of them have even gotten there successfully. In fact, right on the surface of Mars, we have several spacecraft that are working right now. Um, one of them is over here. I'll just try to bring it into view here. This little blue thing we're going to see here is a marker for one of our spacecraft working on Mars right now. And let's see if we can go and take a look at it. All right, hold on tight, because landing on Mars is tricky business. I have a question about Mars. Okay, so um, this will be good. Let's get down to the surface of Mars and let's take some of these questions because um, I do want to show off what we got down here um, and then, and then I do want to answer your questions too. Is that a spacecraft? So we are looking here at one of our spacecraft on Mars. This is one of our rovers. I know it's a rover. It's like a space team. So this is one of our spacecraft that moves across the surface of Mars. It has six wheels and it can travel across the surface. But this rover, this one actually just got to Mars. This got to Mars just two weeks ago. This is the Perseverance rover. Have any of you heard of Perseverance? I'm guessing one or two of you might have. This landed just a couple weeks ago and this was a an amazing, this was a, a spacecraft put in on Mars by NASA, by the American Space Agency, um, one of several space agencies that have gone to Mars, not the only ones by any means. Um, and it's going to study Mars, and it's actually going to tell us whether or not there used to be life on Mars. So we know there used to be liquid water there, and now we're going to explore whether or not there used to be any sort of, any sort of life. This would probably be like bacteria, like tiny little microbes, nothing, probably no Martians, no like little green men, nothing like humans, but tiny, tiny little, uh, little remnants of life. So far, we've only ever found life here on Earth. We've never found life anywhere else in the solar system. We've never found life anywhere else in the universe. But we think it might have been there on Mars once, and we hope we might be able to find signs of it. We're not really sure yet. Um, why we don't see any other life out there. We think that life might be common, but we've never seen it. So answering the question of, it was there something there? That's, well, we don't really have an answer yet. We don't really know why there wouldn't be life on Mars or why there would be. All right, I'm gonna pause now because I'm seeing in the chat that we got a few different questions. Um, I wanna go back to one question way back long ago. There was a question about what would happen if a star exploded next to another star? Um, and 
if one star exploded next to another star, a lot of different things could happen. We have seen though, that there are stars that are very close to each other. They're going around each other. They're orbiting around each other. And in that case, when one of those stars explodes, it causes the other star to explode. So very dramatic things can happen when stars explode. I have a question. Um, and let's put our, if we can put our questions right in the chat, because I because I'm seeing that there's a bunch of them. Um, a question about how big the rover is. The rover is about nine feet long. So Perseverance is about nine feet long. Um, and it's about six feet wide. So um, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what that is. If you're using meters, that's gonna be what, about uh, 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 three meters um, long, two meters wide. Um, and it weighs about two and a half tons. One of the things that will also do a question about what is inside Mars, Perseverance will look for signs of life, but it also has rate, it also has a, um, um, oh boy, one of its instruments, um, it, has, uh, it has radar essentially, and it will, say, it will actually send sound waves down into Mars and it will measure what's down there. So by sending sound waves, um, radar down into Mars, we'll be able to find out what kind of rock it's made out of. We do think that it's rock all the way down. So there's different types of rocks. Um, there, may be, there may be a hot core, a liquid molten core at the very center, um, but we're still figuring that out. We do know though that it is a rocky planet. So it's a lot like Earth in that way. And so what if there used to be, the question there, what if there used to be life on Mars, but something went wrong and something caused that, that life to die out? Well, that's one, that's a great question. And we're hopefully going to be able to answer that question. If we're looking for um, microfossils on the surface of Mars, um, leftover life, maybe we can find out what kind of life it is and maybe we can answer why it isn't there anymore. But we do have to find it first. Um, that's gonna be the hard part. So this rover will do a lot of things. It will travel across the surface of Mars. It will take rock samples. It will also, um, in fact, the thing on the very end of it, um, this, this little thing right here that we can see, it, I'll have to move around actually. So this actually takes samples of the surface. And then the little bit up here, it has a tiny laser in it. And it shoots very briefly, it shoots a little laser into the surface and it vaporizes some of the rocks. And then it tells us what Mars is made of. So we're still trying to figure out exactly what types of rocks are on the surface of Mars. What exactly is it made of there? Have and Perseverance been, will help us do that. Have they named it? Have they named it? Because I still don't know what type of rock is dead. Oh, and I'm sorry, there was a... Um, I'm not, let's double check. Let me just double check the chat. Um, Mr. He said, have the scientists already named the type of rock that Mars is made of? Did they, have they named the type of rock? Was that the question there? Yeah, the question that he asked before. Thank yeah, you. um, Thank they you. have, they have named the types of rocks on Mars, um, And I'm sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what types of rocks there are. I apologize. Um, it's going to be rocks a lot like the Earth. So they're going to be oxygen and silicate type rocks. So um, I do know, let's see. I do know that we found limestone type rocks there. Um, I do know that we found, I believe, some granite type rocks. Um, but I'm going to have to say that that's all I, that's all I remember right off the top of my head. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna say anything wrong. So it'll be something I have to look up. Um, ooh, we are running, oh, we're almost at the end of our time here. Um, let's take, ooh, we didn't measure the size of the sun from Mars. We didn't measure its rotation. Um, but for those wondering, Mars actually is a lot like the earth. It does spin around in just about one day. So Mars goes or it spins once in just about one day, but its year is about twice as long as an Earth year. 